Hi, now we are going to explain about treatment planning system of brachytherapy, specifically treatment planning of cervical cancer. We use high dose rate brachytherapy. This procedure delivers a high dose of radiation over a short period of time. It is given directly to a tumor site using special applicators which limit the dose of radiation to nearby body tissues. A set of applicators consists of two ovoids and one tandem. For planning, the physicists use software Ocentra Brachy Treatment Radiotherapy Planning. This system offers accurate dose distribution to make the best possible brachytherapy plan. There are few steps in this treatment planning which are projective setup, catheter reconstruction, activation, normalization, optimization and prescription. The first one is the projective setup. After the oncologist done inserting the applicator into the patient, an X-ray on the pelvic area need to be done for planning treatment purpose. Two images required for TPS data set, which are anterior and lateral. For anterior image, the image of three catheter inside the patient must be visualized. Instead of that, the image of rectum and bladder must be visualized, which is classified as organ at risk in the lateral image. Next is the dual position activation. The two points set avoid A1 and A2 is set. The two point was set by Manchester system of gynecological for brachytherapy. This system is defined the treatment in terms of dose to each point, point A and the point B. The organ at risk, such as rectum and bladder, also pointed as B point. Usually, for bladder, they set up as P1 and P2, while P3 and P4 is set up for rectum. This is the point source for each point. Next is the normalization step. Normalization step is for to normalize each point in the applicator. Next is the prescription step. The dose is prescribed into the planning to see the actual dose distribution. In this treatment, the dose prescribed by the doctor is 900 centigrade. We can see the pear shape that present as the dose distribution. We will recheck the percentage of the prescribed dose which is bladder should be less than 80%, rectum should be less than 60% and the applicator more than 90%. If the dose for organ at risk is higher than the dose constraint, the dose distribution need to be modified by using the next step which is optimization. For optimization, we can choose either manual or graphical method. For manual method, we can change the weight and time while for graphical method, we can change the isodose line, usually used by the physicists. This is how we adjust by using the manual method. While this is by using the graphical method by, by adjusting the isodose line. Lastly, we need to wait an approval from doctor to proceed this treatment. Thanks for watching.